we all know what that means. I signed up to the Manchester 10K the other day, which means running vlogs are back. Welcome back to another video, another vlog, a running vlog, the first running vlog since last March, I think it is. So it's, it's been a while, it's been a while since I last ran. It's been a while since I had the motivation to run. But as you saw at the beginning of the video, I signed up to Manchester 10K, which is on the 22nd of May. I've been thinking about it for a while. My friends just signed up for it, Jack signed up for it, and I just feel ready to start it again. So the plan for this run is it's only gonna be 20 minutes. We're gonna go off heart rate, we're gonna do math, which you all know I hate, but I think in order to be sensible with my running this time round and not get too carried away, I need to do something like heart rate training. So that's gonna be a whole other topic once again, which everyone seemed to enjoy last year. So, so yeah, back to heart rate training. I'm nervous, I'm very nervous. I'm very excited, but I'm very, very nervous as well. Honestly, it just feels like the right time again to be doing it. I feel stronger than I have done. I feel, I just, I don't know, I'm in a better mindset and I'm trying to ignore everything that the physio said to me last year because that just frightened me to death in terms of running. So let's just, let's just go out there. Let's just go and try it, see where my heart rate's at because I'm sure it's terrible as always. And yeah, let's just go and enjoy a run, go enjoy being outside and get back into something that I absolutely love and I've missed quite a lot. about 12 minutes in so far so good other than the fact that i can't connect my uh, my watch to my polar beat app which is frustrating because i have to keep stopping looking at my looking at my phone instead of my watch and um, so that needs sorting because it's just very very annoying and um, it just feels good to be back it's like it's such a nice day i just oh i miss this feeling so much even though it's math training and even though it's heart rate training it just feels it just feels so good to be outside running and creating these running vlogs again. Like, look at this. Look at this view. It's just, oh, it's just so good to be back outside again. And uh, honestly, I'm so happy. I've, I've got that proper runner's high feeling. And like, oh God, just look at it. It's just perfect. So apparently my average heart rate is 160, which is what I want. We're trying to aim for 154 beats per minute. Um, but it's still an improvement. It's still, first run back, we're still getting back to it. So, so yeah, I'm just enjoying myself as you can probably tell. Honestly, like you can probably tell from the, the vlogs, the, the clips that I've just filmed, that I am I'm so happy that I, I'm so happy that it went well. I'm so happy that I enjoyed it, and it just felt good to be back outside with my GoPro, filming a run, running, and just doing what I was doing this time last year because I've missed it. I really, really have missed it. So to be told that you can't run or you shouldn't run, it really did affect me. So 
let's just hope, fingers crossed, that the physio is wrong and I can continue to do this and train for the Manchester 10K. And yeah, honestly, I'm just, I'm so happy. I'm. <laughs> I'll probably do an entire vlog on this, but the reason why I signed up to the Manchester 10K is because I've always wanted to do it. I originally signed up for it like two years ago and I couldn't do it because it got cancelled twice and then I got injured so Jack took my place and that's why I never ended up doing it. Then went to the physio and he said that I have dodgy knees, a dodgy back and basically I'm just not built for running so that completely knocked my confidence and every time that I've wanted to get back into running again that's been in the back of my mind and I just haven't really felt comfortable or felt confident to take the leap and just go for a run so I felt like if I signed up to a race even if it's just, even if I end up walking the race, as long as I do it and I experience I, it in Manchester as well, because I've never actually done one, I've never done a race before. Um, I can take it off and I've experienced it and I can go and enjoy it and, and yeah. So the plan is to still go to the gym, do my strength training and then run twice a week. That's, that's what the plan's gonna be for the foreseeable future and then just kind of see where things are at in a few weeks time see how like previous injuries, see if uh, hopefully they don't come back up. Keep strong, keep doing mobility, keep doing my stretching. And and yeah, fingers crossed, keeping everything crossed that everything works out well. And I can continue to create these running vlogs again because they're my absolute favorite thing in the world. And also to do more strength training that's more specific to running so that when it comes to the 22nd of May, I'm in the best position possible. Even if I, I I'm not going for a PB, I'm not going for a specific time or anything like that but it would be nice to run it and it would be nice to do it pain-free. And, and yeah, very, very excited. That's just very, very happy to be back in front of my GoPro again, to be honest. I've not used it for ages, so I'm, I'm just so happy. <laughs> and for anyone who might be interested in the whole data side of things, um, so I'm gonna be doing math training, which is 180 minus your age. So mine will be 154. So let's just double check that I've got that right. So. 26, 154. Um, according to my polar watch, my well, my polar heart rate monitor, my average heart rate was 161 beats per minute. Um, and my max was 179, which I'm far off from it, but you'll know from last year that heart rate training is something I really struggle with. And as fit as I think I am, there's there's something going on with my heart rate and I don't want to dwell on it too much because that's when I get all bothered. I end up looking at statistics and Googling things and, and yeah, I just, I don't particularly like going into too much detail about it. But yeah, the aim is 154 beats per minute. Um, but considering it's my first run back, I'm getting used to it again. My body's getting used to it and I'm pretty tired as well. I'm, I'm pretty happy with how today went. So it says on Strava that I did just under 20 minutes, but I didn't, I did over 20 minutes and the distance was 2.2K or 2. what 2.3K, I suppose. Um, the pace was 7.41. Um, yeah, I don't wanna go into too much detail about data because it's not really something I wanna focus on. And I feel like people get very, very, particular about things on YouTube and I just don't like it. So I'll put it on the screen so you can have a look. And if you really want to see how I'm doing, follow me on Strava, but going into detail about data, it's not something I'm going to go into too much. So if, you, if you're here for that, please don't expect it because everyone's different. Everyone's different. Everyone's on their own journey. So, so yeah. Anyway, I do actually have to go and do some work now till it's well, I start at 11 and I finish at half seven so another big day Start it up.